not help people. So because of this one man disobedience, we today were born in sin and shaken in iniquity. And because of that, we could not serve God, nor worship Him in that state of mind and heart. So God Himself, because He loved us, knowing This returning to God has nothing to do whether you come to church or not. Amen. This returning to God has to do with responding to the word that he placed in your heart. Amen. Whether you be sitting here, mm -hmm. at home, wherever you may be, wherever God chose the place, to place his word in your heart. Because he is a good God. Yes. He is a loving God. Yes, he is. He's a God of mercy yes. and truth. Yes. I want you to know that mercy and grace are the riches of his goodness. All right. Thank you. Lord have mercy. So I can say thank God that I didn't have to do anything. But God got my attention. Amen. He chose me. He chose you. Because he loved us. We are his creation. In spite of our evil ways, in spite of our natural ways, in spite of how we are, he loves us. So I thank God for his goodness. That's why I can say thank God for grace and mercy. And, mercy. Yes, sir. and I'm glad to know that he's so rich in grace and mercy. He has enough for everything. We don't have to push and pull and to get to God. We just got to wait on Him. Because God has His appointed time when He's going to place His word in your heart. Lord have mercy. And that word is going to teach you what you must do to turn to God. How much long? So, so Paul is saying to the Romans who have taken that word that God placed in their heart and established their own righteousness and did not submit themselves unto the righteousness of God. So when Jesus came, mm -hmm. as it was prophesied, and they knew it, Lord have mercy. Jesus came, who was full of grace and truth. And Jesus came preaching to them, the Jews only. Repent. The 
kingdom of heaven is at hand. Well, wait a minute, Jesus, what about me? When he preached to them, they refused to hear his preaching. Because their mind and their thought was looking for a king. But yet Jesus continued to preach to them. Even John the Baptist, who was the forerunner to Jesus, who preached that Jesus was coming, he had a problem. He ended up in jail for preaching the word. Amen. And while in, the, and while in jail, he sent two of his disciples to Jesus and said, Are you the one? Or do we look for another? You see, when you're looking for something, you can't hear what Jesus is saying. A lot of folks in here this morning. Oh, I saw several people who were here in Sunday school this morning. Amen. I don't see. Now, if they had an emergency, they should have spoken to me. And I know who they are. Whosoever believeth in him mm -hmm. shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Yeah. The goodness of God. Yeah. If you believe on God, then you ought to follow his instructions. Amen. God's not going to have you to leave one place and go to another. The gospel is the gospel. It's not about the number Amen. It's not about pleasure. Amen. It's not about itching ears. Amen. It's about hearing the gospel. Amen. Because if you don't hear it, you'll never turn to God. Come on. Amen. Amen. You'll end up doing your own thing, as some did today. You still not talk about it. Those of you out there sitting and know who they are. They were to preach the sermon to them. You are inexcusable for judging. Amen. God did not give you His word to judge people. God gave you His word so you can turn to Him and become a witness unto Him. Amen. 
So to make sure that you understand it, Jesus said, Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and strength, and thy neighbor as thyself. So to love God is to follow Jesus' instruction. Amen. <coughs> church all you want to. If you don't follow Jesus' instruction, you're in trouble with God. Amen. Nothing with God. So there's no excuse, people. There's no excuse. Especially after you have turned to God. There's no excuse. So if you have not turned to God, then you're all right in what you're doing. You don't need an excuse. That's your life, to be contrary to God, because you are sinful. Because of one man disobedience, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. So this state of mind of corrupt that I'm in is not the cause of me, but the Adam disobedience. Well, I was glad to know that. But when God said, All have seen, that includes me. So I thank God for Jesus for coming and preaching, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But that was the Jew. But well, because of their self-righteousness, because of what they were looking for, they rejected Christ's preaching. And then he turned to all the nations. Now I can say, thank God for Jesus. Amen. When he turned, he went preaching, repent, and believe the gospel. Amen. See, the gospel has instruction in how to live for God. Paul says in Norman that if we believe it in our heart and confess it, 